Hey there, YouTube. I am just finishing up. I just soldered this card here. I need to cut these guys back here, but um, this is a conflict uh, monitor card, or rather an MMU uh, program card for a Hawk signal. Um, I'm in the process of setting up a Hawk signal cabinet uh, for a city that's getting one over by a school. And some of my solders are kind of a little solder heavy here. So I'm going to try and clean that guy up a little bit. If I, I should have a... Oh, let's see here. This is the best way to do this here. You hear that? This guy sucked that right up. Another way to do this is have a solder sucker. A solder sucker is like a little thing you can heat up your solder and it'll suck that solder right out of there. Anyway, eh, it's okay. It's crude, but it's going to work. These jumpers here will allow these phases to run together in our um, conflict monitor or our MMU. And... Um, so for this Hawk signal, right, if phase, phase 1 tries to run with phase 4, then it'll throw uh, the signal into flash. But if phase 1 runs with phase 2, it'll be just fine. Okay, that's the basics right there. And uh, this particular card here has a memory on it. That's what this little chip is. Um, and it will um, store the program not only on here but you know if you have a MMU set up for a flashing yellow arrow or anything anything just an intersection you can actually save that intersection to here and that's usually what we do the first time once we have it set up here in the lab and ready to go out then um, uh, we basically save it to the card and um, and that should be the deal. And you see all these pins are the inputs and outputs for each of those phases that are being represented here on the board. So, uh, just a little MMU program card, right? And, uh, and these jumpers down here are your minimum yellow change disable. Um, typically we use that for our uh, PED channels, right? So 9 through 12 on the TS2 uh, type 2 cabinets that we have here are set up uh, as our PEDs and you don't want to worry necessarily about your yellow at all on the PEDs because um, we're not monitoring that. Okay. Then over here you see minimum flash time. Uh, this is going to be a TS2 cabinet and all of that programming is um, actually going to be in both the controller as well as the conflict monitor itself um, you don't necessarily need this so um, but this is going to work out just fine for that cabinet I just figured I'd share a little video because it's been a little while and uh, I was in the middle of this and well with all this gabbing I've been doing I forgot I have to cut these guys here so we're going to cut I'm going to cut all of my little, these little whiskers I got sticking out the back here. And uh, they're actually pretty sharp, so I can like jab myself. Try not to do that. And, uh, and I do apologize for not posting all the time. It's been an extremely busy uh, season. The summer has been whooping me left and right. We have uh, we have a bunch of school speed zone flashers uh, this month, and uh, you know we're programming all of the calendars for you know coming the end of August here, and then also the beginning of uh, September is the beginning for all of the school districts in the area. And so I'm trying to get all of the, um, you know, exception days, so the days that the school speed zones are uh, not going to be running, 
um, programmed into the calendars for our uh, school speed zone flashers, the clocks that we use. And then I actually have to go in person and um, physically, you know, connect a uh, cable to each one of those clocks, um, which maybe I might make a video about that. But here's one of our school speed zone uh, clocks, and you know, so that I actually hook up to the serial port on here. So that one's got some ickiness on it, corroded. Um, so, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, Knock all of these little guys off here. This guy is ready now to go into my hot cabinet. And then I'm done with that little project for today. Move on to bigger and better things. Thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe or whatever. Cheers.